um, members of the C Elections Directorate and those who are tuning in online, a welcome to our press briefing. Uh, the subject of the press briefing is going to be an update on the candidate selection process as well as um, a report by our independent panel on the nomination process, which is the first stage of our community candidate selection program. Let me begin by apologizing for the delay. Uh, the late start was occasioned by the fact that uh, returns were coming in from a number of constituencies, uh, including rural ones, and sometimes the roads are inaccessible, something that we're going to discuss in the press. So I apologize sincerely uh, for that delay. But I'll get into it uh, without further ado. Now, our candidate selection process, we're happy to report, started in all provinces yesterday. And as President Nelson Chamisa has said time and again, the vision of the Citizens Coalition for Change is to put citizens at the center of all processes <coughs> that concern them. The vision of the candidate selection process is to ensure that we build a citizen's dream team that will bring transformation, a new governance culture, and ethical leadership for Zimbabwe. Now, at every single community selection center yesterday, we saw large numbers, unprecedentedly large numbers of citizens thronging the venues and excited to make their voices heard and to nominate candidates of their choice. Obviously, this is a vast process which includes uh, nomination in 36,000 villages across all provinces in Zimbabwe, 1,000 970 wards, 210 consti constituencies. It really is no small task. And so we really want to thank all citizens who turned out in their numbers for their renewed demonstration of support for their project and the citizens' movement. Now, the report of the Elections Directorate and the overview report of the Independent Panel is that the process was a huge and resounding success. Obviously, we're going to defer proceedings shortly to the independent panel so that they can share uh, their findings and an update on their own processes. I want to make it abundantly clear that in no way, shape, or form do I speak from that panel. Do uh, any members of or chain champions work with the panel? They are completely independent. Now, admittedly, there were a few teething problems in limited areas. However, safeguards were swiftly put in place to ensure that the process remains transparent, fair, and robust. There were also logistical uh, challenges in limited areas again, caused by our perilous road network, which made the 36 thousand villages that I made reference to are very difficult to access. We obviously had challenges with erratic telephone network issues, all of which are obviously testament to the dilapidated state of the nation, something we will no doubt fix when the citizens' uh, movement takes over uh, governing this nation. Now, our guarantee is that the final result will be a true expression of the will of the people. I can guarantee that there will be no imposition of candidates anywhere, and there will be no double candidates in any ward or any constituency. The template or the methodology that we put in place following consultation and uh, widespread input from experts and others um, really serves to ensure that the process is watertight and builds a, a team that every citizen can be proud of. Now, there were isolated incidents of violence by agents provocateurs, or agents who were provoking us. Uh, violence is a ZANU PF culture, and we condemn it in its totality. Any person found responsible for violence or for causing violence will be automatically 
disqualified from any form of participation in our candidate selection process, whether by nomination, by making their voice heard, or even uh, standing. Investigations have already commenced in the limited cases where such reports were received. Now, for the avoidance of doubt, over 90%, the majority of the nominations happened without incident and were just transparent. Any complaints by any citizen are being taken very seriously, which is something obviously the independent panel will deal with, and they'll obviously give details on how those complaints can be made. Now, when all is said and done, the progress we've made so far points to an exciting array of candidates of all age groups, races, creeds, tribes, ethnicities, and a true representation of our rich diversity as a nation. For us, this process is a celebration of what can be achieved, where citizens are at the center and have the democratic space to make their voices heard on a platform that seeks to ensure that they come first in all matters to do with them. Now, without further ado, I'm going to defer proceedings to the Citizens Independent Selection Panel who are going to give uh, their report and uh, their update. Thank you. <coughs> so, thank you. Uh, I'm going to share with you, uh, for example, here in Harare, uh, constituency Harare West nominees where we have Ungai uh, Tome, we also have Johanna Mamon. For Bindura South, uh, MP nominees, we have got uh, George Warada, Moses Mafara, uh, Sidi Mapepa. And for Mabu Mavuku, MP nominees, we have got uh, Nyaradzi, uh, Kufa Akutizmi, and James Chidako. Then constituents from one Darwin South nominees, uh, Izen Bura, uh, and Chaita and also Ian Matthew. So we will continue with the process and we will then also release the names uh, as and when they become available. But so far, these are the names that are available. So, in terms of uh, the rest of the other issues, we will defer to Matthew. Thank you. So, obviously, um, these results would have been issued and these updates would have been given on a rolling basis. It just so happens that we've got the Easter break. But immediately when the Easter break is over on uh, Tuesday, we're going to continue with almost daily uh, updates, um, which will obviously be delivering the feedback or the returns of who has been nominated. And it's important to stress, uh, as has been highlighted before by our elections uh, department, that the process has at least four stages. So nomination is only the first aspect. Uh, following nomination, there's going to be a vetting process. And so the fact that one has been nominated is not the end uh, of the situation. It doesn't mean that you are yet uh, eligible to be um, a candidate. After the vetting process is uh, complete, we're also going to have a process where stakeholders, key stakeholders in various communities, are also going to be consulted and have an opportunity to make their voice heard and make representations on who they would like uh, to represent them and any comments they may have on those who've been nominated. And uh, thereafter, the, the very important community consensus building part uh, of the panel starts where there'll be citizen caucuses, where citizens will come together be told there's X candidate, there's Y candidate, who do we prefer and why. They'll have an opportunity to also make their case, deliver a very brief manifesto of what they plan to deliver in their ward or in their constituency, and also to take questions from the community concerning their elig eligibility uh, to run. Obviously, as has been highlighted, the, the template looks at factors such as integrity, ties and service to a community, commitment uh, to the cause, any expertise, any special skills one has obviously taken into account the need to ensure that we comply with the Constitution on matters such as uh, 
disability inclusion and gender parity. So at the end of the day, what we're going to deliver uh, is a citizen's dream team that incorporates every citizen, every represented group, every special interest group in Zimbabwe. We obviously expect to be able to put our best foot forward in the coming election. Uh, the process is going to be expeditious. We've got timelines that uh, have been set for the independent panel, and hopefully those processes will be completed soon so that we're in time for nomination and in time, obviously, for uh, the last uh, get out the vote campaign period. Now, without further ado, that brings to an end today's update. Unless there are any questions anyone may have, we will take a few questions. Um, as usual, please just give us your name, the media house you come from, and then ask one question so that we can have uh, a number. Thank you. If there are no questions, or if everyone's uh, too excited to go to Easter, yes? Okay. <coughs> Studio 7. Uh, my question is that you only mentioned very few constituencies uh, in terms of the nomination. Uh, can you confirm that uh, you have received nominations from uh, one Madame Tovan Kupi in the state of uh, county that position? Well, I'm, I can't speak for the panel. The panel can speak. Yeah, for so itself. as we have said that year, we are receiving uh, nominations from various uh, provinces. I've said that we have received from about 70 percent, but it's still undergoing capturing the validation. So for now, we can't even go into specifics of such provinces which have not yet been completely So just to put the matter to bed, you're going to get every every person who's been competently nominated, their name will be announced, every single constituency uh, will be reported on by the panel. So. You must uh, take note that on Tuesday we're going to have another election, a candidate selection update uh, for the press where further nominations are going to be announced by the panel uh, and Wednesday, hopefully, and Thursday as well until the group is finished. Um, so on um, a rolling really basis... Another question, maybe. Are there areas where there were violence, the violence scenes, according to what we... What we they were very isolated, what, to be honest. What, what, <laughs> we, what we placed in Warren Park, for instance. Uh, I going to repeat the nomination process in some of those areas? I mean, we, it's, it's, it's the case, as I've indicated at the start uh, of the press, that every single citizen's complaint uh, is being forwarded to the commission, which is going to deal with it independently, uh, to ensure that there are safeguards in place to ensure that the process in all instances was transparent. There is no room whatsoever for violence. Wherever a person is fingered and found to have participated in a violent incident, responsible for it, that person is going to be automatically disqualified because violence is not in the DNA of the Triple C. Violence is a Zanukiev culture and we will not tolerate any violence whatsoever. If there are no more questions, uh, all that remains is for me to thank you all very much. Uh, like I said, Tuesday is going to be our next update, so please look out uh, for, the for the time of that press. It will be conducted here as well. Thank you.